welcome back to my channel. It is Aldi haul day. I missed Aldi last week. I didn't do a big grocery shop because we totally had enough food here, but I was really glad to be back and get restocked on everything. So I've filled up the whole counter here la, 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 and then have one item over this way. So let's get started. First off, a little housekeeping. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button right now. That way you will know whenever I post new videos. Okay, first things first, I got a six pack of the mini Diet Cokes. I have always been a big Diet Coke fan, um, but sometimes like a whole Coke is just too much. I just need a little like jolt of energy. So these are like the perfect size, I think. I got a can of refried beans in case we want to make quesadillas this weekend. Ivan loves bean and cheese quesadillas for weekend lunches. I got two cans of the mixed vegetables. I realized I let these run out and didn't restock them. And I was like, why do I feel like I don't have the very many vegetable options for Ivan? It's because I didn't get the good old mixed vegetables. Um, I got a bottle of the ready-made teriyaki sauce. Um, I buy this every now and then just so I have an easy meal on hand. And I also know I've got some stir fry noodles, so I'll probably be putting that to use this week. I got two jars of the marinara. This is not normally, not the one I normally get. I think they had to substitute. Um, and I'm not sure if they like charge me for the other ones. They probably charge me for these, to be honest. I think that's what Aldi does. Um, then I got the unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Nick uses this for smoothies and I like it on cereal. I haven't gotten these in a long time, the dark chocolate cherry trail mix bars, and they popped up in my like suggested items, and I remembered how much I love them. I'm still congested. If you watch um, my videos last week, you know that I've had like a cold slash allergies forever, so I apologize. I got two um, of these like lunch buddies fruit cups, and they're both in fruit juice. Got peaches and pears. Ivan likes both of those. Restocked on some pesto because I like to have it on hand. Got some of this easy couscous for a um, like easy dinner side this week. And then I took the gamble again with avocados. I really liked having them in the house a couple weeks ago. And they did, yeah, all ripen on the same day. But I just really love them on salads. Or if we decide to do quesadillas, it just like makes them that much better. I got some of these cute um, cherry heart cookies. I don't know if they're tasty at all, but I think I had them last year, but I just thought they were like a cute little Valentine's Day themed treat. And then I also got a tin of the Danish butter cookies. I bought a tin of these around Christmas because these cookies make me think of Christmas, but they sell these all year round. And I realized I can have butter cookies whenever I want because I'm a grown up. So, woo, woo, right there. We were out of saltines. I like to keep these on hand. Just, um, I put peanut butter on them if I just have like a craving. Um, we eat them with soup. They're good when you're sick. We needed more. And then I got some Big Dippers tortilla chips. I got some wavy potato chips. I got the party size because it's Super Bowl Sunday this weekend and I figured we need some snacky food. And then I got Clubhouse crackers, which I just like to keep on hand for snacking. I got a cantaloupe. If you've been here a while, you know I hate cantaloupe. This is this is a sacrificial purchase just for the boys. Um, and I'm also really bad at telling when they're ripe. So I do not think this one is ripe right now, but God only knows when it'll actually be ripe. Good luck to me. Got some butter because we were completely out. Um, a pack of this Casa Reche pasta that I really like. I like it a lot with the pesto. There's just something about the texture and shape of this type of pasta with the pesto that, mmm, yummy. Got some vegetable oil because we were out of that. And then I never bought rice cakes at Aldi and I don't buy them very often because I kind of just associate them with diet food. But um, I read where like toddlers like them sometimes and you can put a little bit of peanut butter on them or hummus. So I thought it might be a good snack for everyone. Tortillas, just kind of standard to have on hand. And then another cute Valentine's Day find. I actually got these for Nick. Um, they're like music themed Valentine's socks. <laughs> 
he's um he's not ashamed to wear themed socks, which I love that about him. So this is going to be part of his Valentine's Day gift, which will be ruined if he watches this video. So I'm going to have to give him a warning. Got some ibuprofen because I have a fear of running out of ibuprofen. This will just go in our spare med drawer. And then got some turkey kielbasa. We haven't had this in a little bit. It's good on pasta or even like cut up with breakfast. I also got some bacon. We haven't had bacon in ages and I just thought it would be a really nice weekend treat. Hummus for snacking and lunches, sour cream, and then some French onion dip to go with our chips for Super Bowl viewing. Got some mushrooms just for whatever. I don't, I don't usually have a meal plan in mind. I just kind of buy what looks good and like what we haven't had in a while. And then I sort of build, build meals after that. Um, I will link my most recent meal planning video here so that you can see how I take all of these groceries and make meals for dinner. Um, string cheese, we love this as a snack, especially Ivan. Biscuits, did I already go over these? Biscuits for weekend treat breakfast. I got some ham, I just, I like this ham all right. Um, and you can get like, I mean it's a one pound pack and it's not very expensive. Um, but it's not super high quality either, let's face it. But when we don't have lunch meat, I always regret it because it, sometimes it's just nice to be able to make a sandwich and go. Got a bag of sweet butter lettuce. And then I got a young chicken. Oh, I love these young chickens. They're usually only around $5. I more often than not cook them in the crock pot and I get like three or four meals out of them. We eat it just with like carrots or potatoes, kind of like a traditional roast chicken style dinner first. And then I like take it all, all the rest of it off the bone and I shred it up and I use it in meals later in the week. And it's awesome. Such a good find. Um, celery, just for snacking and yumminess. It'll probably be with Super Bowl Sunday stuff. We'll have some cut up veggies to go with our junk food. And then I got some fish sticks. Ivan likes these and we just were out of them. I think I had a few left when our freezer died over Christmas and I just chucked them. So restocking on the fish sticks. These were a substitution item. I don't really like these kind that like are like strangely smooth, but I had put these like really tasty looking um, buffalo honey tenders in my cart for Super Bowl Sunday, and this was the substitution. So um, I'm sure we'll eat them, but they're just so suspiciously smooth. It's it's weird. I don't know. I don't know. Um, since I know I'm doing a stir fry this week, I did grab a bag of this Asian seasoned medley. I like this because it's got the baby corn and it's delish. And then two bags of frozen Brussels sprouts. So that is just about everything. Quite a bit. This is a pretty big um, stock up as compared to low spend January. And then the last item over here is our pizza for pizza party Friday night. All right, that is it for this week's Aldi haul. I really enjoyed um, doing like really steady weekly grocery trips and just trying to keep it down to like $90, $100. It helped me save a little bit of money last month. Um, I mentioned that like sometimes when I'm buying for, or I'm trying to buy for like two weeks, I go into like survival mode and buy way too much, especially with produce and then it goes bad. Um, so I really liked not having um, to like, I don't know, just kind of be so stressed out about it. It was just like, eh, if we're out of it, I know I'm gonna go back on Friday. So I might kind of continue that and see if it helps me consistently lower our grocery budget. Um, I did end up having to go to Aldi yesterday and picking up milk and bananas for this morning for Ivan. So um, if you know, I usually get two things of milk, but it's because I, I got them yesterday because we were just plum out of milk. And then what else did I, oh, I will show you. The Aldi near my work had the cotton candy grapes and they are so good. And I don't, I don't like, I'm not obsessed with cotton candy, but they're amazing grapes. So I got those, I got two things of milk. What else? I grabbed a package of buns because we were finishing up the beef shoulder and just putting it on like sandwiches and got the bananas here. Oh, and I got, 
this um, bag of heart pasta. <laughs> um, Ivan and I are gonna be solo. Well, we're not solo. Ivan and I are gonna be each other's Valentines this year because Nick has to go out of town. So I'm gonna make him heart pasta and just, I know he won't remember it, but I'm gonna try and make it a fun, cozy, special day. I also picked up um, like the Velveeta style cheese at the other Aldi yesterday because it was like 25 cents cheaper and I just felt like I was gonna stick it to the man and get the cheaper price, so. Yeah, oh, and gosh, I guess I got more than I thought yesterday. <laughs> I got Nick a bag of these um, Nashville hot chicken chips. We, we've had one bag already this year, but um, they're like a seasonal item, so I, I grab them until they're not there anymore. Um, what else did I get? I got, oh, oh, I got this um, sweeper thing in the Isle of Shame, and I've tried it and I really like it. It's just this little sweeper thing and you push it, and it's got no batteries. It's got a little dustpan you can empty out that I like haven't found yet, but I really liked it. I ran it over the floor this morning and felt like it looked a lot better in a fairly short amount of time. So yeah, I had some good Aldi finds at the other Aldi I frequent yesterday, but mostly I had just gone in for milk and bananas, of course, and came out with more. But so that's kind of a secondary Aldi haul to this week's main Aldi haul. I think that's all I've got for you. Hopefully the next time I talk to you, I'll be done with this congestion. We've um, gone from like DayQuil, NyQuil to um, allergy medicine because we're thinking it might be allergies. It's not COVID. We've already been through that. So <sighs> I'm ready to feel better. At least January's over, the longest month of the year, and we're well on our way through 2021. I'm going to stop rambling now. Thank you for watching today, and I will see you next time. Bye.